I'm feeling the same way. And even I just haven't counters at the other apartment. But they're okay. marble at this apartment. Another steak, yes. <laughs> All right. I've even done double something and take. Uh, I've kept uh, that down for weeks. Thank you. Okay. And then these are the markers you can use, but you, there's just a variety of markers. So you can kind of like do a little test of the colors on the um, paper right there, and then kind of just see what colors they are. And you, know, you can just kind of trade with the neighbor. Yeah. Kind of just see what the neighbor here. Mm -hmm. want, if you want a different color. Right. Gotcha. And then this glue is going to be passed around. So we don't really need that much glue, but uh, so I just brought one bottle. Okay. Getting stuff over here. We can start. And also, actually, okay. Get my fancy chair. <laughs> like a little bit taller. Okay. How is that? Okay, see what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah. All right. So to start yeah. us off, um, we are going to kind of look at what we have in our materials kit right here. First. So you have your floral tape, which is kind of cut into little sections. Uh, it just makes it a little bit more manageable to work with later. You have your print paper, which is just, you know, those like party streamers, like the roll I have right there. So I think that roll was like a dollar. <laughs> so I think I went to Hobby Lobby and got it for a dollar. Um, you do have pieces of floral wire. So you should have a long piece a long piece. Well, I'm going to use a branch, so I'm not going to use that, but you should have a long piece and a couple of short pieces, okay? And then that's going to give you this stem. Oh, actually, they should have five pieces, so I'll have to redistribute those. Um, and then I also put a little uh, blue petal like shape just to give you an idea of kind of the shape and the size that we're going for for the petals. And so you can use that to cut them out, okay? Um, so it's just basically gonna be a flower that's assembled. So we have a little uh, center part, I think it's called a stem, I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, and you can see what, what it kind of looks like with different colors, right? So cherry blossoms come in a variety of like shades of pinks and some even have like purples in it, like the plum blossoms. So those kind of all bloom kind of similarly where they have that the same look to them. Um, so some of them, the, the salmon are all dark, some of them they're white. Um, so you can choose to leave it pink, right? The color of the crepe paper, um, or you can decide kind of what color you want to kind of, what look you want it to have, okay? So we're gonna start off with the little piece and go ahead and start folding your crepe paper. I think I zoomed out here. Okay, let me know if you guys have any problems seeing, okay? So go ahead and fold it about an inch, you know, an inch over on itself. And for this first one, we're just going to make five petals. Three, four, five. What is considered, like one of these is considered a petal? Yes, one okay. little section, okay? So, and if you need more of this stuff, you know, uh, I have more. So it's like two on this side and two on this side. So you do three. Yeah, so it's just, okay. you know. Like, I'm sorry, I'll probably ask like 9,000 questions okay. because I've never done this. Yeah, you can check. So it's like one, two, three, four, five. If you kind of flip through it. Oh, five. that way. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. And, you know, you can get a couple of these ready if you want to just kind of cut a bunch at a time. So again, just about an inch. Probably less than an inch. And if you keep folding, obviously you can just cut a bunch at a time because the paper is very thin. It's almost like like a crinkled tissue paper. So 
you know, we can cover the whole section at a time. Okay. So this is going to give us our uh, flower petals. And the crepe paper is nice and perfect for making flowers because it has a little bit of a, a crinkle to it. And when you kind of pull that crinkle out and, and press it in, it'll give the petal a little bit of a natural kind of curve to it. Oh, so you're cutting it. So, wow. yeah. So this is, this is the template, you know, the petal. Okay. So you can kind of lay it on top of there, you know, and then just cut around. You can kind of just cut it really like basic. Like I just kind of like to snip it all around here just to get it off. And then you can kind of go in and just work your way around. So this is kind of like a uh, foundational. I, I, I tried to do in January classes that I felt would would be good to build upon, you know, like if somebody wanted to do um, more paper flowers, different kinds, more complicated paper flowers, then at least we kind of have a foundation for how it would work. Um, same thing with the one stroke painting, you know, we can do more classes if people are interested. So it just kind of depends uh, where we go with it. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Um, and these are great for any kind of indoor decorative use, right? Um, so I imagine I would put this little one, maybe like on a small little bud vase somewhere, or if I just, you know, make the branches branch a little bit longer with more flowers and make it a little bit more elaborate. Okay. And then, so here you have your petals separate. So we're going to take, you know, five of these. Okay. So I made six. And then with each, uh, with a color that you guys decide, you can color them in a little bit. And so this is just like a kind of like a neon pink here with this Sharpie. So I kind of like that vibrant look. So I'm just going to add a little bit of this going up maybe about halfway here. And again, you can just kind of test the colors on the paper to see. It says the name of the color uh, on there. For most of them, um, I passed around a bunch of alcohol uh, base markers. So if that smell bothers you, just you know switch it out for another one. Obviously, Sharpies don't smell much better. So this is pink. And I think I'm just going to leave that one like that. But if you want to do it with a little bit of a darker look to it, this is covering a little bit more. This is just covering the very little, you know, kind of center, maybe like a quarter of an inch into it uh, with a darker pink. So it's just going to give you a little bit of a different look to it. So here are my petals. Um, there's multiple ways you can color this. I've seen them do, you know, markers are probably the easiest. I've seen them use um, uh, what's it called? Uh, pastel, chalk pastel to color them in. It kind of gives it a little bit of a soft look to it. Uh, you can even use like colored pencil or maybe even crayon might work. You have some crayons laying around if you have some kids' crayons. <laughs> yeah. About watercolor. Watercolor is just going to get the paper uh, wet, the gray paper. So it, destroy it. if you leave it to dry, I think it should be fine. Um, so yeah, I haven't tried it with watercolor, but um, try it and see if it works. It'll probably give it a nice like um, radiant to it. It'll probably look a little bit nicer, but. Um, alcohol markers also can be blendable. So if you don't know about alcohol markers, it's kind of good to use them because they're the ink is water resistant. So if you do get some, you know, a little bit of water sprinkled on there or something, um, you can, it's not going to fade the color. So shoot. It's Mom. Oh, I've been getting so many um, spam calls lately. 
Oh yeah, another option too, I just brought a sample just to see it's like a little ink pad, okay? And then another way of doing the petal or coloring the petals too is just kind of coloring the entire uh, strip. So I'm getting a little bit of this. And if you want to use this one, I just didn't have very many of these. So if you want to try this one, you can. This is coloring with a little bit of stamping ink. So some of you guys might have that stuff already laying around. And that gives it a really cool little ombre. Okay. Um, so I think this looks pretty cool. I'm going to try to darken it a little bit more on the bottom. So I'll pass this one around. Just try to make it easy. You guys want to try that one? Anybody want this? <laughs> no, I think I'm going to go. I'm going to go with easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so that one, obviously, you want to do before you cut out the petals. Um, I kind of like coloring them after I cut them out, just because you can really see and make sure you have enough of the marker on there and like exactly where it's gonna go. So that's my preference, okay. How many flowers did you envision all together? Oh, uh, I have enough for you guys. Well, I put enough in there to, for you guys to make five. Oh, but... really? I'm almost out and I have. Oh, okay, then we'll just pass Basically, around the... Well, I might be all right. Man, man, I don't know. It's okay, if you need more, I mean, there's a whole roll, so. <laughs> Yeah, pass you. around some more. Well, I, I still have a little bit left. Okay. And I have extra of the floral tape and the wire and everything. So whatever you might need. Let's see, we're putting five to a flower, right? We need a little bit more color. So you can make all of them if you want to right now, all the um, petals. Uh, or you can wait and see. <laughs> no, that's fine. You can look. Or you can wait and see kind of how one's going to look, and then you can decide how to color it in after you, you see the first one. So up to you. Or you want to try different colors. <laughs> this would also make a nice... Um, uh, like, you know, garland for graduations, you know, like making a whole bunch of these garlands or making um, wedding decorations. I've seen the, these crepe paper flowers used in a lot of different ways. All right, so there's my whole collection of little petals of where. <laughs> and you can just kind of leave little scraps on the side. So we used to make them, but they were bigger than they were. Yeah, we just used the whole row. Okay. So these still have that kitty cat. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. I'm just made some money. Yeah, right. They don't have exactly any. Wow, that's true. So if you, <laughs> even if you just make one or two, that's fine. Uh, uh, one or two enough for one or two flowers. Sorry, um, that's fine. You don't have to make all five of them right now. So there's no rush. Oops, I pulled out. Okay. So once we have some of the petals, um, I'm going to show you guys how to make the little center part. So this one has a tip that's a little bit darker. So if you have a darker marker, you can. It's going to look like that. Um, this has a little bit of a yellow on it. Um, I'm going to make it an orange. And so for this center part, you just want to mark the very tip of this. And oh, sorry, this is about an inch and a half, uh, maybe like two thumbs wide. Just gonna mark the tip of that. And then for this, you're just gonna go in and make uh, a cut probably about halfway down, okay. Mine just ran too. Yeah. And you're going to go down about um, an eighth of an inch. So how could I compare to that? Maybe like half a pinky, <laughs> an eighth of an inch, half of your pinky nail, I should say. And then you're going to cut these little strips about halfway down 
the little roll. So this is just getting cut to the middle. Here, yeah. probably going a little you. further. Yeah, halfway down or a little further than the halfway down should be fine. It just depends on how long you want the little the pieces to kind of come out. I think these are cut maybe a little bit longer than halfway. And you can also kind of compare it to your petal, right? So if that's going to be the center, you know, the little uh, salmon are going to come out. You want them to come out enough to be visible, right? Or else, at this point, oh, there's a okay. And, you know, there's a whole bunch of these. If you really wanted to count them, there's about, I don't know, eight or 10. So this one has eight, nine. Okay. And then with these, um, we're just going to take each little section and we're going to roll it. Okay. And the easiest way to roll it is to just kind of lick your finger. <laughs> And starting from the bottom, actually, rolling it and moving your way up towards the tip. Okay. Okay. So, am I going too fast? Or you guys, do you guys get them cut yet or not? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. I'm so going too fast. To show that. Yeah. So I'm going to go on the end here. Okay. Kind of dip my finger a little bit. Get a little bit of saliva on there. And then I'm just going to roll it gently. And then roll it all the way to the tip. Right. Okay. So I'm just gonna grab the oh. next one, and you can kind of separate them if a little bit if that helps. You just roll it gently. Okay. Roll it all the way towards the tip. These would be great for a little headpiece too for a. Um, we made a little headband or a headpiece for uh, with needle felting. You can also do this with um, crepe paper flowers, although you know it will be a little bit more delicate. Okay, you know my way, but so just kind of grab it in between here, kind of moving the other ones aside, even that might help, and then just rolling it gently with your finger, wetting your finger if you need to. Just to get it to grip a little bit. Is this enough for one? Or this is just one, yeah. So three. about an inch. If you made it super long, you know, you can cut it and make two. You know, you can kind of do a whole bunch at one time. But if you cut about an inch and a half, it should be enough for for one. Okay. okay, and so we have these little weird looking <laughs> little hairs here, little hairs with orange tips. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna um, put some glue. This is just regular white glue. I'm gonna put some glue. Well, actually, let me show you guys. This is a, I used to do this with my high school students when I didn't want them all to have individual glue bottles because they're terrible with glue. Or they start fighting. They start putting it all over their hands and peeling it off, and you know. So how many of these little gizmos per flower? This is enough for one. So really? I was this much, I, and again, it's up to you. If you want to do less, this is kind of what it looks like with uh, about the same amount. If you feel like you want to do less, that's fine, or make them shorter. But you know, if you guys look at, I, I was just going off of a cherry blossom, you know, sample that I saw. So if you take a look at, at different examples, you know, they do probably have different lengths, different colors on them too. So it's up to you, kind of how you want to make it. And I don't know why this blue bottle is. So stuck. It's not the haven. So stuck. I just used it. Get it closer, right? Mm -hmm. Put glue for you. Seriously, right when you need it. <laughs> okay. Well, the easy solution is to just <laughs> when you doubt. Cut a little blob here, and so I cut a little uh, piece of the index card off, 
so that I can just kind of dip it onto this so I don't have to use my finger and then use that as like a little spatula, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and pass around this glue and you guys can do the same thing. So that's how we're using that yellow. Uh, yeah, the, part. that's okay. just for the glue. Wow. Okay, how are we using it? No, you didn't. No, I didn't. No, 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 uh, just oh, use the, the, just take off the cap. Oh, really? Yeah, because you can just put a little blob. I trust that you guys won't, you know, spill the whole thing. <laughs> Well, you're very trusting. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna have to watch what you're doing. Okay, I'll okay. wait until the glue goes around. It's fine. Oh, okay. If you want to work on coloring the other petals or whatever, that's fine. Okay. And then um, I think we actually might need more wire. So push that out. Oh, you got one more. Okay, you might not need to do that much, oh. but I'll put some more here. Some more pinks if you guys want to try different pinks. Brawl pink markers and kind of purplish pink markers. I'll be fine. There's some more pink. Can you it? Just kind of depends on how you use the tape. And then here's a little bit more pieces of that in case, you know, it's ready to run out. And what else? Well, oh, okay. I'm probably gonna need more of these because I only put two in each and we need good So you want to put some on mine, or do you think that came out? Yeah, then I definitely need more crepe paper. Yeah, I'm supposed to make yeah. this. Yeah. How many followers are we supposed to have? Uh, yeah. I have five. I think it looks nice with five. Three. I only have four. Yeah. I've only cut out enough for three. Yeah, and once I show you guys how to do it in the process, then you guys can kind of just figure out Continue on your own making the rest of them. Yeah, that's plenty. Of yeah. 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 <clears throat> then I need to make a whole mess of usual Christmas. Yeah, I'll need Well, let me find it. We can pass it around. Yes. Yeah, yeah. just pass it around. Yeah. Oh, okay. Here. So you make a more of these little wires. Yeah. We're going to do five flowers. Yeah, then I, I only put two in there for some reason. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, I need to um, this. <clears throat> I found some. I don't think I need any more. Okay, I think that's enough now. Enough wire and everything. Okay. What do we do with the glue? Okay, so then now once we kind of have our setup here of the petals, the little center part, the salmon or whatever it's called, okay, I'm going to get a little bit of this glue on my little spatula. And again, I just cut about a half an inch or so to make a little section of this to use. Also use your finger, but you know, it'll just end up drying. Okay, and then I'm going to take my small wire. Uh, actually, we can start with the bigger one, so that can be the one on the very top. Start with the big one. So the longest wire, and just have one of these on the very top. So let's do that. We're going to add the little center salmon part, and we're just going to kind of roll it or just fold it over each other. It's okay if it doesn't exactly roll around the tiny center here. Just kind of like pinch okay. it. Where did it go? It's just, oh, there it is. Same color as the table. I couldn't see. Okay. Ah. And then even if it's folded, what you could do is just kind of twist it in your hand. And that'll right. kind of like. So you're picking the long one and you're. Yeah, this is the longest one. So we can do the flower on the very top. Okay. And it might help to just go ahead and straighten that wire too. So it's not so. Bendy. Walking. <laughs> Bendy is the official word. Bendy is a good word. <laughs> oh, I think it's not I so too much glue bend. on. It's making a mess. <laughs> yeah, it really just needs a little bit of glue. Yeah, I did way too much. That's okay. You're going to add the other petals on here, too, so it's okay. So then what you're going to do is take your little petal, okay, 
And this is what's kind of cool about the crepe paper. And also with a needle felting, we did this, where we can kind of like gently pull the petal. I, and I just recommend just kind of using maybe your fingernail. And it's just going to give it this little curvature to it. See? Because the crepe paper is, you know, uh, smushed, uh, pleated. <laughs> <laughs> the right words here. Um, it's gonna just along the middle, right? Don't do the top because then the top is gonna, you know, get just as wide. So just along the middle, you kind of just want to gently curve each little petal, and it's gonna make it look like a little bowl. Okay. Yeah. Right. And then, then you take this little petal and put it up on your center piece there. Okay, just a little bit of glue. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'll just, if you guys wanna see that again, I'm just gently going in the middle. And if you happen to rip it, you know, okay, just make another petal or glue it back together. And I'm just kind of gently undoing the little pleated part in the middle. So it gives it that natural little curvature, okay? Mm -hmm. And the bottom section, you can decide to kind of fold it in a little. That's going to leave it, leave it a little bit. Um, uh, it's going to help the petal kind of keep that curvature to it. Okay. You can add your little bit, tiny bit of glue. And then just add it to the next part of your flower. So do the flowers overlap? The, the flowers? Come on. The petals. the petals, I'm sorry. Yeah, the petals, uh, they are going to overlap here. So this one I pinched in to make it look a little bit narrower. Um, so you can do that, but just because I think it'll hold the petal curvature a little bit better. But you are going to be overlapping on that section that you just did. Okay. So see, these are just close together here. Yeah, mine keeps moving up. Damn. Yeah, and it's just because the glue is so wet, right? Yeah. So if you just use a tiny bit of glue, I think that might help. Well, I'm trying it. I'm, I'm even going to use the glue that's already on there, like mostly, because I, I kind of put a lot too. Oops, I didn't do this one. I'm kind of curving this out a little. We're going to take home the mother. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It'll be beautiful, you guys. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, that's what you say. Yeah. Thank you for that vote of confidence. You know, I'll just take that on. All right, and again, it's your first flower, so if this one comes out <laughs> weird, just work on the next one. Okay. All right, so here's three, and again, they're kind of like, uh, you, you can adjust them, and they're, they're going to dry a little bit. Um, you know, obviously, it's going to harden, so just keep going with it. Okay, if you want to do something that just looks like a little blossom too, you can just do three petals. But I'm going to keep going with this one. Oops, curving it out a little. Oh, this looks anything but a, like a flower. Curving that petal out. I'm going to twist this one on the bottom. <laughs> Little bit of glue. There, maybe that's better. Well, guess what my talent is. Okay. All right. So now I really have some overlapping. And by the end, it might be like, okay, where is this petal going to go? Okay. So just kind of get it in there. Again, we can adjust them as we, as this dries a little bit and it's gonna hold together a little bit better, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'd say. <laughs> Mine does not look like a flower. It yeah. just looks like it. Yeah. You know what? It looks like it's good. I, and again, I yeah. refer to my high school students, but high school students especially, similarly to what I'm hearing in here, can be kind of negative. Ah, and so they they criticize each other in a very harsh way, even though I know they're kind of just 
playing around and you know making fun of people was kind of their thing. Um, I used to make them say plus two. So if somebody said something really bad about somebody's work or their own work, I would make them say two things that are positive to make up for what they said that's negative. So <laughs> when I would hear somebody say like, oh, this looks like beep, beep, beep or whatever they say, right? I'd be like, you have a plus two. And if I, they didn't do it, then they would get another consequence, right? So okay, they would walk around trying to think of something nice to say. I think I know what I did wrong. Just a tiny bit. OK. It's not horrible, but it ain't gorgeous. So do, we, do the other flowers on the short stems? OK, wait, wait. So before you guys oh. move on, OK, hold on. Okay. OK. So, you know, ideally, we want to let this glue, especially white glue, uh, dry a little bit. Um, I wanted to show you this glue because I found this out just recently. And I was like, where has this glue been all my life? Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> it's actually called uh, well, art glitter. And it's kind of made, originally probably made for glitter. But um, it's cool because it's a craft glue. It dries quickly and clear and it doesn't warp whatever you're doing so the paper when it gets wet it starts to get rippled right mm -hmm. so if you're doing like cards and things like that and anything paper related um this is not going to wrinkle that paper and it's going to dry very clear so i use it a lot for like scrapbooking and and then lately i've just been using it for everything because it's so effective okay so it is a little bit pricier than regular glue and it dries very fast. So I wouldn't recommend putting it out like this white glue because the white glue will stay sticky forever, okay? Well, not forever, but you know, longer. This one will dry very quickly. And so, you know, if you have it, it's kind of cool because it comes with this little metal tip and then you can keep it and, and add a tiny bit, work on it. And then, um, you know, it'll, you just have to remember to seal it up here with your pin that it comes with. Um, and then also it comes with, they have little bottles so you can refill it. Um, so highly recommend this if you are a crafter or artist or just want a good glue to work with um, to carry around this little art glitter to whatever kind of art class you're going to because um, you have your own like nicer tool here, okay? Um, so highly recommend that. There's also another one that's more expensive called um, Barely barely glue or something and it's a green bottle with a bear on it and it does the same thing as that one as this one but this one's less expensive okay um yeah i mean it's not ridiculous it's like i think i paid like maybe eight bucks for this okay. thing so it's not crazy but it's it's worth it not doing very well seems like it would last a long time because you get that oh too. Yeah. yeah and you you know use it very sparingly too thank you okay so, uh, have you guys used floral tape before? I'm sure at some yeah, point. Okay, so floral tape, and I didn't even know how to use floral tape until it like once a couple of years ago. Um, so if you don't know, it stretches and it releases a little bit of the adhesive in it when it stretches. So I think that's very handy. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just Place a little bit of this, and I'm going to stretch it out first because I want some of that adhesive to. Oops, sorry. I want some of that adhesive to release a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the very tip, the base of this uh, flower here, the on the tissue, and I'm going to just try to get it again, just rolled on there, and I'm just rolling it in my fingers here. Okay. Once we have it kind of secured, and it might help to leave it drying a little bit so it sticks to whatever's, whatever glue is on there, okay? Then we can just start using it as like regular floral tape. So again, to use it, we just stretch it just a little. Oh, it didn't work. Okay. Again, it's gonna be tricky to secure it on there, so just, you know, give it a minute. And then we can start to just, and again, I like to have my, my fingers kind of pinched here so I can roll the little stem rolling it onto this and as you you're rolling it you're kind of um angling the tape so it's at a 45 degree angle so if this is your stem okay and your tape is kind of sticking out this way okay and so as you go you just kind of 
tug on it a little bit. You know, if you rip it, it's okay. But just tug on it to release some of the glue that's in there. And I'm just kind of tightening it on here. And then I'm just, just rolling the stem kind of, I like to roll the stem into the tape instead of trying to wrap the tape around. Okay, so watch, you can see the difference, right? So yeah, I know what you mean. I'm, I'm holding it here and then I'm just rolling the stem into the tape. Okay. Pulling it a little bit. It doesn't take much to release that adhesive quality to it. And then again, I go down and I'm just twisting and rolling the wire, the whole thing, rolling it into that tape. Are we going down the whole wire? No. So go around, uh, well, let's see, this one has about, I didn't do this one all the way. Uh, I'll go down about, I don't know, what is that, three inches? It just depends on how far away you want the next flower. Gotcha. Okay. So I'm going to leave that one there because I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to get another flower and I'm going to attach it to there. So I don't want it to be like, you know, covering the whole thing. You don't have to go back up. Okay. At this point too, you can also just kind of like tear off a little section. And we can just use that tab to blend into the next one. Okay. So that's going to be the stem. And then I'm going to go ahead and make... You know the next little, the next little bits. So, get my orange. So you can just kind of work on building the flowers individually, and then I can show you how to kind of wrap them all together. Okay. So right now we're just working on the rest of these flowers. That is some nice music playing in the background, isn't it? I was just thinking about that, okay. playing music when I'm working, that's more relaxing, you know? <laughs> sometimes I play stuff and it's like energizing, but sometimes you just get a mellow hour. <laughs> okay, just rolling these up. Okay, did it who did anybody else a couple of people here took the one stroke class, right? Yes. Stroke yeah. painting class. Did you guys were you guys interested in doing the nether one of those classes? I was. Yes. Okay. Because I'm gonna tell Michelle, because right now she has two garden making things, which are I think I showed you guys, the potted uh, cow and the frog, but I'm thinking maybe we can move one of those till um, next month. Uh, but I don't know if we're going to have room to do another paper flowers one and one stroke. So if there's a preference, I could tell her to do paper flowers instead of one stroke. So it's up to you guys. I really can do one stroke. One stroke? Okay. I would too. I would like to do it this time. Okay. Yeah, yeah okay. I'll let her know then. I kind of don't want to make pots two months in a row, two weeks in a row. <laughs> So the next flower we go on one of the other short wires, correct? Yes, yes. The long one is just kind of the main stem. Gotcha. Okay, now I have to remember what I did. You roll it, right? With or without glue? With glue. Yeah, the only one you don't use the glue for is the floral tea. No, 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 I'm doing that wrong. What would I do? Oh yeah, so to continue my story, right? Like I initially my making them say nice things about their work was just about their work, right? And then, you know, they're kind of if they're being bad, right? They're they're making fun of their friends or whatever, and they're saying something bad about another person or making fun of them or something. Um, oh. 
And so then I turned these plus twos that they would have to say into like them saying nice things about the other person. And so, you know, these teenage guys and I'm like, here, you have to say something nice because mostly they're making fun of their guy friends, right? These guys making fun of other guy friends. So I would say, okay, no, you have to say something really nice about them, you know? And they're there, one guy looking at the other, trying to think of something nice to say about them. And I'm like, I don't care what it is. You have to just say something nice about them, their personality or their looks or anything, right? So the things that they would come up with to say nice about somebody else. I imagine that was entertaining. It was, oh man, it was like, I like your snaggle tooth or like, I like your hairline. A lot of people said they like the hairline. Or clothes, you know, some clothes that they were wearing or that. <laughs> or if somebody had like a funny laugh or a weird laugh, they would say they like their laugh or <laughs> I just became this thing. And they would then they, they actually stopped being so you know, <laughs> negative because then they didn't want to say something nice about their friend. Right. So or then they would start policing each other. They would be like, oh, you said something mean. Say two nice things about me. You know. <laughs> A whole different dynamic with teenagers. I'm sure you guys are familiar if you've ever been around them. <laughs> yeah, raised a couple. Of them. Yeah. <laughs> some of the most offensive things come out of their mouth, but also some of the most hilarious things. <laughs> that is entirely true. <laughs> okay, this pedal got a little bit messed up, so I'm just going to trim that one. Okay, and again, don't forget to curve the little pedals, okay? And make them look a little bit more natural. Group that one for, but then that's natural too. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And again, if you miss mess up a petal, you can also leave it so it kind of looks like a blossom. So it doesn't really need all the petals. It can be a little bit more closed, you know, you put it on there. Okay, this one looks a little bit more like a flower. Whoa. So when you are done rolling the um, little brown stem onto it, you want to leave, you know, at least an inch on there on the small one. Okay. Oh, we roll that separate. Okay. Yeah. So this is separate because we're going to be combining these two, right? Actually, I really, gotcha. like, I really like how that stamp one looks. So you just want to make sure you leave about an inch. Okay. We have our two. Uh, your fingers probably are going to get a little sticky from rolling that floral tape, so just kind of keep that in mind. I kind of like to roll, try to roll off the glue <laughs> or even rub it onto the paper just to get some of that adhesive off because it's very like a waxy kind of adhesive feel to it. So, so put that on there, we can throw this paper away when we're done. So. Okay. okay, that one looks like a flower sort of. So we have our two here. It's okay. Now, they come off. Just okay. Just shove it back in there. I did that too on a couple of mine. What is it? This. And then you start these on the. Okay, yeah, you roll that one, the middle piece, on the wire first. Oh, this piece on the wire. Yes, so that way you kind of have something to hold it. Oh, hold everything with away. the small, one of these small ones? Yes, the small one. Okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Where did the go? 
it's rolling right now. Yikes. It's just pitiful. Oh, <laughs> that was good. No, yeah, well, it doesn't want to stay on the wire. And again, it just needs some time to dry, right? Could we go ahead and roll the, the other flower and just leave it be? Uh, yeah, if you want to give it a chance to dry so it doesn't come off. Is that what you mean? No, to make the third flower on the, on the on the other stem. Oh, yeah, if you're ready, if you're ready, that's fine. And I'll show you guys how to kind of assemble all these. Yeah, because. Is somebody using the little stamp one? Oh, no. Right? Oh, it's over here. I don't think anybody's using that. Well, at all. Oh, I'll just try it. Into, uh, Using a wire, one of the wire for putting on the glue is a better idea because you get a lot less. Say that again, please. If you use the wire, a wire to put on your glue. Oh, yeah. Rather than idea. dipping it. Yeah, yeah. Just dip your this wire into the glue. That yes. makes sense. And, and then roll it. it. And then you get a lot less. Uh, mm -hmm. Take it and put it on your pedestal of a portion, you know, and just put it on there with using the, the wire. I see. And it's a lot less uh, glue, I find. Right. Example, but you may not move it. It was all over creation. Yeah, it must keep it. Oh, we can't put it here. Okay. I wonder if a glue stick would work better. It might tear the paper. And then again, it may not. I don't know. Yeah, I, I find that glue sticks dry out very easily. Uh, Kind of don't like to use them, you know, whatever you have laying around, really. Sure, sure. Come on and stick up. Not on my finger, but on here. I found that out because I was getting in a hurry. I go, oh, well, that's not going to be my first week. We need to get it. 
Yeah, come on, you know, you can imagine if you're making a bunch of these at home or whatever, you can just kind of get a bunch of things ready and do the gluing all at once. So it's a little bit more time to dry in between. You know? Yeah, it's more learning the technique than yeah. anything else. But once you kind of get the hang of it and you, you know, you can kind of imagine. I feel like anything like this is very relaxing, even though oh, it's, oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> even though it's tricky, but one, again, once you get the the feel for it, and it's like anything, right? Like everything is going to be, especially anything artistic, it's going to be a little bit frustrating when you're starting because there's always a steep kind of learning curve whenever you're trying something new, but. That is true. At some point, you're just going to be able to sit and watch TV and, you know, make <laughs> a bunch of pedals as you're, as you're sitting. Okay. And, you know, if you say so. Yeah. <laughs> Oops, I did this one backwards. Okay. Curve the other way. How are you doing, Jennifer? You're very quiet. Uh, I'm doing okay. <laughs> this. You know, I got my glove on. These are tiny, wires tiny. I'm having to focus. So if you guys do I need to cancel a class, um, just because yesterday I had um, many people, or last class I had a bunch of people signed up, and like I think maybe a little more than half showed up, so it wasn't oh, bad. That's annoying. It wasn't bad, but you know, just every time I have a class, I I try to I'm trying to set up kits beforehand and. Uh, right. To make sure I have enough and just to save steps and so um you know you like maybe the day before Michelle will text me and tell me how many final people we have and so um you know even if the day before you know you're not going to be there or whatever just but sometimes people get sick or something so oh yeah not of course you. that that's fine but if you know something's going to come up or whatever just let her know uh just so I'm not making like 10 extra kits and <laughs> And for this stuff, it's not a big deal. Small stuff, but you know, like the needle felting or whatever. Sometimes I'll, I'll end up going to the store and making sure I have enough supplies. So it's like a little bit more. But then you can have like the card making class, and people that didn't sign up showed up. And yeah. Didn't have enough kids. I know that was that. So right. you can, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. And it's not like ways. it's not like the material we wasted or anything. Like well, I'm still going to use all this stuff for something else. So. It's more just so like so we know how many in space wise and you know they set up a bunch of tables and should we roll the third one with the the tape? Yeah, the tip of it, right? Yeah. So going about an inch down. Oh, I missed a pedal on this one. I'm just doing three because I I got my pickle. Oh yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Well, how, if we do five, where do we what do we hook the the other two on to? We're gonna do it on the same branch. This just has three on here. We'll just do another another one. You didn't see that oh, yet. No, th yeah. so that's what we're gonna do is that yeah, yeah, is yeah. three. Oh yeah, okay. no no no. This is this is just the three, but if you want to add more, right? Oh then, I see. You know, I made it I made this one a little longer than long stem. Yeah. So this is about, you know, the a sample I brought. Well, this one has a little bit more space to put five. I so, see what you're saying. saying. Okay. Even right, if then, we want to, we don't have to. Oh, okay. yeah, if you three. are just, you know, done with three, that's okay. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm done with. Okay, so let me show you guys how to attach the yeah. small one to the bigger one, okay? And so we have, you guys here? We have a long one here, and that has a little bit of a tail to it, okay? And then we have the short one, and this has a little tail to it, too, and this one could be a little longer. It doesn't really matter. We can still overlap the tape if if something's too short, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna match up the base of these. You guys see that? Okay. And I'm, I'm I kind of say cross it so it's like an X, 
Okay. And then so hold one side, pinching it between your fingers. And then right at the middle, it's going to be like a little twisting motion. So you just twist that little X you know, right around the other. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. And again, so if I'm just doing it just with plain wire, just so you guys can see it a little bit easier. Okay, here's just as if these two are the same, right? So I'm crossing the wires like an X. And again, on the sample, it's going to have a bunch of tape on one side. So I'm, I have this X, okay? And I'm holding the two flower stems firmly on one side. Right at the middle, I'm holding it firmly, okay? And then I'm just taking the other two and twisting them around like a twisty tie. Right. Okay? And it's okay if it's not perfectly tight, right? Because we're going to cover this with the tape. So this is kind of what it would look like. You just want it to be able to go around a few times. Okay. Hmm. So you guys can see a little better. There we go. And I'll do it with another one too so you guys can see it. Okay? Please. You want me to do it with another one? Okay, let me get some tape on this one. Well, so I'll show you. I don't know. I mean, I've done something. Whether it's right or not is another story. It looks like I did it too. Okay, I'm going to get the other one ready just to show you guys in case you need to see it again. I've got mine way too close to the other. And it will keep sliding down the. Yeah, I would say like give it some space here. So. Yeah, well, that was my bad because. At least it has maybe an inch and a half of space going down. And then your flower on this side should also have at least about an inch and a half. Mm -hmm. Just so it's not going to look so crowded right there. Okay, another telemarketer. And I get them all from California, so it's like. Isn't that weird? Uh, I mean, I'm like, I'm sometimes it's super late, and they're calling you know dinner time over there. Here's your funds for calling me. Uh, AT and T, but I've had them for I've had them and my phone number forever. So okay, but do they have a scam blocker? Like I have T-Mobile and they have scam sheet. Oh really? Okay. And I just automatically turn it on and it cuts out. It doesn't cut out all of them. Yeah. But it cuts out quite a few. Okay. Scam likely. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. yeah and yeah. mine will say scam likely in telemarketers, so I know not to pick up. But um. You know, it's so much better when they block you know, a big percentage of them. Yeah. I don't answer the phone. I don't okay. Phone so if you guys take a look up here, okay, at the screen, this is going to show you the order. So you want to start with the last flower that you added, that branch, okay? So leaving the top one, right? I'm going to just start adding this, twisting it a little bit more onto the um, middle branch here. So I'm just kind of twisting it, bringing it down. I could probably go one more loop over. Okay. So I'm just going to connect it so that this part finishes. And, and I'm using this to wrap. Whoops, whoops, I'm only doing the whole thing. I'm wrapping this one around the bottom. Okay, so again, this flower's little brown, uh, little tail of the tape. Ah, my whole one came off. Uh oh. <laughs> um, That's okay. You can always go back, work it back up. I'm, and if you need, I'm gonna try. If you need help reattaching it, I'll help you guys too. It's it's okay. Okay. So again, I'm putting it at the tape at a 45 degree angle from the little middle branch, the middle stem, and I'm rolling the whole thing. Twisting it kind of onto the tape until that tape little that finishes. Okay. Okay, and again, I leave a little bit of space, and then we're going to add the next one right here. So probably went and did about an inch of the tape coming downwards. Okay. And with this tag over here on this side, okay, you can either uh, have it go up, back up into the flower or have it brought back down, going downward, so it overlaps kind of what you just did, okay? Another thing you can do is just kind of tear this tape in half, 
so that you see it's like split down the middle. So if you want to just kind of like take one little section, the part that's lower, and wrap it down, and then just take this little section and just wrap it in on itself. Well, I can't. Oh, my okay, I'll come around and help you guys. Don't yes, worry. Please, because I cannot get this to, okay. to stay on. And just every time I roll it up, it's there. Okay, yeah. let me come around. Thank you. Very cute. Sorry, let me see. I can't get this to stay on the top good. one. Thank every you. when I start rolling yeah, it, 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 it just doesn't stay on. So. Brown. Okay, well, let's get another piece. Another oh, piece. Okay. Maybe that one's just had it. <laughs> it's very possible. I might just click on this so you can see what we're doing. Okay. Um, actually, I'm going to split this one. So, watch, I'm going to split it. Okay. Yeah. So that just some of it can kind of hold on to the bottom part. So gotcha. that way it'll anchor it, right? Okay. And then this, I'm just going to fold it in on itself. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here, I think I'm pulling it a little, right? Are you you're I, pulled, yeah. you're pulling it, right? Oh, I am. Okay. But I don't think and I'm doing it right. I'm going to just pinch the wire and kind of twist it on. Yes, you think? It on. And it's okay because it might not stick right away. The adhesive on this is not so uh, strong, right? Yeah, so yeah, I'm, I'm kind of twisting it on. And, and as I'm doing that, no. so I'm trying to anchor that there, right? Yeah. He doesn't use his face too long. And the more you roll it over on itself, the more it's going to stick to itself, right? Gotcha. So I think that's also kind of the key here that we want to be able to pull it, have it stick yeah, that's to it yeah, on exactly. itself. Oh, okay. So here I'm just rolling it completely on itself without going up, right? Yes. So that way it'll just hold on there. Okay, add a little bit more. And then this piece, I'm just going to use it to wrap it. I love cherry blossoms around the bottom here. That's when, good. When Kevin and Kenya yeah. uh -huh. yeah. took our grandsons, and finally, uh -huh. while we were living in Mr. Kennedy, they were covered in Washington, D.C. Uh -huh. This one's still loose, so I haven't finished. So I'm just going to let that the next day, the bash up every day. Okay. And then I'm going to wait it just to end up. Yes. Yeah. That's lucky. Good story to tell. Yes, it is. And we only took my grandsons. We we so you wouldn't maybe the green with the oral paint. That's so way so. We gave them a break from our the old fashioned. Paint. They got yeah. Out we can air. use that tape. That oh, one okay. Is I feel this one's a little bit more delicate. This tape. Gotcha. And you can use the green, but I just this it was a lot of orange color. That, color. that is true. Because they kept so then this next one that you do right here, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. this one doesn't have any edges. That's fine. Okay. So what I'm going to do is the latest one. This Frost it. Was off. right here. Okay. Thing. Oh, I see. Also, I'm that's what I did. Yeah. Well. So I'm going to pinch it right here. Three maybe six right? Part right. Yeah. Right that there. happened the day and before here, they started twist. shutting down business. Twist. Wow. Twist. So first we got to see the cherry okay. blossoms and then the birthday happened okay. at Chuck E. Cheese. And then right after they start, start, they shut Whatever way you want to go. Better. Okay. So then I can use an end of that. But we went over to yeah, their house there. there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. She just kind of getting, getting ahead of it. I know it's to make sure that she wasn't deprived of her childhood right. from any of that stuff. Really? You did? You need yeah, I did this. Okay, that's looking really good. You would guess what's not? And I'll no. add on to no. that. I'll be a this. Right now I'm doing these and letting them dry on there. Okay, I would get this lighter one. I don't see this. It's covered a little bit of a here. And the well, alcohol ink actually blends the other ink that's on there. So it's going to help to have it fade a little bit and create a little bit of a transition. Um, or you can use something like this. I don't know if you like this neon color. You, you can try it just, just to have that blend a little bit more. Okay. Oh, okay. Not yet, not yet. Oh, yeah. Okay. They're looking good, but not we're not quite done yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, mine is not Go picture worthy. Yeah, mine's not <laughs> Oh yeah, sorry. It's like like I'm not. We pulled it all the way up. Oh. <laughs> 
Ooh, yours look uh, nice. So I asked some of the ladies dry. here that, um, yeah, yeah, that yeah no, that's my biggest issue. issue. Oh. It is. What Probably, I wonder if you like make them and let them dry for a couple like hours or something like that together. Right. That's what I think we should do. said they wanted to hold the one stroke painting class again. I did not have a different one, right? So we can talk about that after. Oops, for my flower. Mm -hmm. Give me my Sam. Yes. <laughs> well, my address. I just got one. Thank you. I washed it. That's about all I did. <laughs> there you go. Oh, open. Okay. All right. So we have our. The uh, branch, right? Or little flower. So I'm going to just, just unroll this a little bit. I think it's a little too low. So I'm going to start doing the same thing. I'm going to crisscross it over. Okay. There's a bunch of extra tape on either side. That's fine. Okay. Crisscross it. Actually, I'm going to place this one on the other side. So I'm going to try to like angle it this way. And then I'm going to twist it together. So here, pinching it. And twisting it. They're like twisty tie. Maybe. All right, a bunch of little stray pieces of tape here. I'll just get those down later. Okay. Start with the lower one. Just wrap it around. Sometimes I'm also just talking for the sake of the video, too. Okay. So. If I'm repeating something excessively, it could just be for that reason. And all the videos that um, were done with the the grant program, the Zoom grant, uh -huh. you guys can watch all of those classes. I they're just recorded. Um, I I'm not sure where they're posted though. I, that's something I have to ask Michelle. Uh, I, they might be on the Facebook page posted, but you guys can watch all of those classes for free. And there's a material list that I send out. So if you ever miss a class or you can't make it, just know that those are available online to watch. Okay. And if you need help with any of those classes that you know you do watch and you get stuck or you know you don't understand something on there or the screen was off or I don't know something, right? <laughs> you could just ask me whenever the next time you see me. I can always help you um, even finish whatever you might have started on online if you need some extra help okay as long as i'm as long as i'm around i'll be able to <laughs> help you guys with it okay so i'm just kind of cleaning up this extra tape okay adding the other one cleaning that up a little bit All right, so we can just continue with the rest of the flowers. I'm actually going to try putting one on one of those branches just because I think it might look cool. All right. It's just, uh, and the, I kind of like this branch because it has these little nibs on it, nibs, oh, yeah. whatever they're called. And uh, the other one that I got didn't have that, but when I came back with the scissors, I saw this one on the floor and it had it. So yeah, like, those are buds. Yeah, they're like little buds of leaves or something. I think so. Yeah, leaf buds. So I, I'm going to just see how that looks. Well, there it is. And cherry blossoms are perfect mm -hmm. for this kind. Yeah, it's not my favorite. Yours looks great compared to mine. Anyway. You know what? Yours looks great from here. Oh, really? Yeah. I think we're just cherry flowers. So. Yeah, well, I, I think we need to see it from yeah. a distance, too. Yeah, so I love cherry blossoms because it's like, okay, obviously they're a, a symbol of spring, but they're one of the first things to bloom, you know, in the spring. And then it's this perfect for this awkward time between Christmas and like real spring. <laughs> and so it's kind of gives it like a, they kind of give like a frosty look, even though they're um, pretty vibrant, like they still feel kind of wintry to me a little bit. So I always kind of like them. Um, well, they come in all colors too. Yeah, there they are come in, white ones. you know, almost purples, purple colors, and pinks, and almost white looking. And I have a, um, 
I think it's a cherry tree right in front of my house, and I love it. I've never had, well, I've never had a house with trees, so obviously I like all the trees, but <laughs> that one especially is so pretty. It just made, really is like, gives off this like hopeful feeling, you know, like when it's all cold and icy and then you start to see these cherry blossoms, it's just magical. And then, you know, at some point there's this period where all the other branches and trees are still dry, you know, but then you just see the pinks and the white emerging, you know, and that's all you really see because they're the first ones to bloom. And so it's like this backdrop of like gray muted branch colors. And then all of a sudden this like vibrant pink and white, like showcase of blossoms. So really pretty to see in here. That's one of the things I keep, you know, discovering as I'm living here longer is all the different variation in the seasons that, you know, we just don't get in, in California. So, so pretty to be out here. Okay, I can't count and talk at the same time. <laughs> okay, how are you guys doing? You good? Keep building the rest of the flowers if you are done. You know, just keep going and adding some more if you want to, unless you feel like three is good. I'm good with three. Okay. <laughs> I don't even think I'm going to get three. Okay. Or maybe if you want to, you can help somebody else with theirs and just make a couple of pebbles for them or something. Okay. There's those. Okay. Orange. Try something a little different with this one. You're going to get ready to go. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> I know. And Diane will get you. <laughs> oh, yeah, Diane. Oh, I'm going to put this one on this branch just to see. Just to see what happens. You take the whole. I help the flower. Oh. I'm falling apart. Yeah, it's a little hard to see them from far away. No. <laughs> Next one is what is the next one we have with me? Um, you can pass on me. The felted hearts, I believe. Is the next one. Yes, built in hearts, and we have 15. Sunday. Oh, okay, wow. When is your next one stroke? One stroke, uh, that's what I wanted to kind of talk about. Maybe Michelle are going to decide what. In March. Yeah, probably in the March. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Working on this branch, I don't know. I'm gonna make my other. Is it gonna stick? There you go. I think so. Well, put them down and just let them dry. Right. I think maybe it just requires less tissue on the bottom to stick these little flowers on a real branch, but it's working out. A little bit like 
kind of wonky because if you don't have the wire to secure everything, but it'll work. Hmm. Maybe, I think it might be easier if you made it on the wire and then wrapped it on and then with stick. Yeah, wrapping it onto the branch. So it would kind of look nice. Yeah, it would be pretty laying on the table. Yeah, especially on the table. That would be cool. Might just do that. Okay. So are we good with the? Are you guys gonna make five? Or are you done? I'm done. I'm done. Okay. I'm make five. The rest of mine will. Okay. okay. I need Please. help with the wrapping. Okay. Just use whatever you need to make. Uh, you know, take whatever you need. You need to take some more paper or whatever. Uh, go for it. And then, uh, yeah, let me turn around and help. I think that for the video, I want to finish this, but just use that. Okay, you know about the wrapping? Yeah, you can help me. <laughs> the wrapping is a disaster. Once I get that, I haven't done anything with it. Here's the part that I started, but this part up here is still not. Oh, okay. I think I know what you're doing here. So, okay. See how you have all this glue on here? Yes. It's just a lot of glue. So what I'm going to do is just use some of this. I just wanted it to stay. It, and then that's the tricky part, because the more glue you put, the longer it's going to get dry. And so it's kind of right. like, I also feel like these are really long. I clipped them off after oh. I put the petals on, okay. but and that's okay. I mean, he's here. I'm wondering if there's a way to maybe um, keep to keep the flower from falling off. Maybe we can do something like this, where you take the stem, okay. and, you know, I think if it's long enough, you can do oh, this. Oh, sure. And maybe just hook it onto there. That might keep it from coming off. Well, I was initially. careful. I was careful. I didn't want them to come off. The other ones, you know, I tried to. Yeah, so that might help to keep that in place, and then I can add back. Ladies, thank you very much. It was fun. It was good to see you. <laughs> yes. Let's see what I can do with this when I go home. Yeah, it's more fun. Can we give it as a little gift for Valentine's Day too, or put it on your package? Put it in a little card to give to somebody, or yeah, a package would be good. Little has a little bow. Okay. Okay, so here is this. It should. I don't. Oh, that right there, maybe. No, that was from a different flower. But we can make one of these. And that's what I thought, but I just. Yeah. And yeah, it just gets a little bit messy, but then it's going to curl this one. Yes, the curling looks good. Uh, okay, so just let that one dry and then work on the other one. And this one. one's dry, and that one. Okay, so here it looks like it's just a little bit close short on this one. So I think the next one, let's just make sure it's not so close. But see how up here we have. Um, we have lumpiness of the which part right here? Yeah. We can put a little bit more tape and tighten that. Okay. Okay. So here I'm just twisting this a little bit tighter. Okay. Okay. Yes. Anything that's kind of loose on the tape, we can always kind of clean up if there's an extra piece on the bottom. So this is actually the line. Okay. Okay. So then right here what we want to do is we'll wrap this one a little bit. This will be more dry. So you just made this at first, right? Right, I tried to let them dry. So here I'm just going to wrap this a little bit. And I'm going to crisscross them, right? I think you got that part. Yeah. Crisscross it. All right, so then from here, all right, I should take my on, so I'm just going to crop this. 
top one that's extra. Okay. And then I can just keep wrapping around. Right. This block. Okay, so it's getting there. It's okay, and more. then I have this one. Yeah, so then so this one, you're going to stop right here with it. Mm -hmm. You're going to wrap this one, and then you can attach it right here. Okay. Okay. All right, I have mine. Can you see? Okay, so this and this. Okay. This so we'll see Thursday. Yeah, so I'm going to lay this one on top like an X. So okay. Right when they're going to meet. Okay. okay. This is a little short, so I'm going to try this. So we need to do at least an inch. Oh, okay. So um, each and a half would be best. Exercise. It's just going to make oh, the flowers okay. more. Um, mm -hmm. There's basket class, the rest of basket class on, on Thursday. You're doing basket oh. class too. Oh, well, that's so not hard. Hard. It's possible that you do that. Okay, so, so here I put about an inch, inch and a half. It might be what I was thinking once, will be baskets so up there. They meet the brown and then we'll meet back here. So like you could just come in even if it was 1230 and just start doing your diamond painting. I mean, just open this. So the more securely you kind of hold the top, the easier it's going to be to twist it around each other. Yeah, this is my cup of tea, that's for sure. Okay. So here we got that. Okay. And then this can just come into this bottom one. And I'm sure Candy won't mind because she was here last week, so she. So we can come in a little bit early. I would say. Yeah, I thought I'd try to be here not too. Okay, and then this one's coming out. Same thing. Okay. And is it just the bending of the wire that's not? Like it's hard to do, or oh, I don't know. This needs to be my flower to the cup of tea. All of it, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just frustrated, I guess. Yeah. Well, let's take a look at the flowers too. Let's see. Let's see. I'm mean, going usually the end result is not too bad, but it's <laughs> getting there. <laughs> And are you curling the petals? Well, I tried. Okay, so in here, that's one of the things that helps to make it look more natural. So I'm just holding the center outwards a little bit so it curves and just pulls that and it helps to round out that petal. So that actually makes a difference and makes it look like a little bit more natural. <laughs> so there's that. Um, this one, I just feel like it needs some pink. Okay. Um, I think we just need to twist these a little bit more, like all the way, just because they look a little and, bit. And then sometimes they broke at the end, so that looks less better. Yeah, very nice. Okay. Yeah. So it, I think it's just a matter of finessing it a little bit. Even though this one doesn't have pink, it still looks oh, right. nice. <laughs> we could have. Yeah. Um, right. yeah, see how this kind of looks like. I didn't get that like either. <laughs> You know, he wasn't bothering anybody at all. So tender, loving care, and just stretch out each little petal, take each little stem. See how this is kind of wide right there? Pinch it, twist it on the top, or even trim the top a little bit if you want. So I think it just needs a little bit like your your <laughs> gentle touch. Sure. Yeah, I need mean, some more more of a okay. Tape. okay. okay. She's more the wool. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 So oh, actually, I think I'm going to just seal this one that I used on the branch for the sake of the demo. Uh, 
can't get a way to do it, but that works. Okay. What's that one? Rise. Before we did, let me get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, just take some patience and. Or not, though. <laughs> patience or not. Okay. Okay, so, you know, it's up to you guys to finish up kind of at your own pace. I'm going to finish it, these, just for the sake of the video here. Um, but if you guys, whenever you guys are done, you're, you're all set, okay? This, I think Michelle got pictures of all of them, right? Yeah. So I think we're good in that aspect. Mm -hmm. That was a surprise. So all my kids get the bad signal at the same time. I had a scheduled phone call with my son that I talked to since Christmas yesterday, a video chat. And right after I get off the phone with him, headed to the bathroom, my daughter called, my oldest daughter. And I got out. Hey, you gotta call me back. Well, she never got around to calling me back. And this morning, my baby child texted me. It's like, wow. Okay, who sent out the bat signal? <laughs> it must have been Adam because we scheduled a call last week. So, yeah, my mom, and I talk to my mom almost every day, right? So. Sometimes I'll miss, I'll call her and she's busy or whatever, and she doesn't pick up or she's with other family or other siblings. And, and I'm like, God, I haven't talked to her in so long. And then I'll just call her, you know, it'll be like a normal catching up, you know, but when I miss calling her, <laughs> it's the end of the world. And, you know, she's super worried about where I'm at. And <laughs> she's like, I try to I can't find you, and I'm like, I'm not, I'm not lost. Like, <laughs> yeah. Well, my oh. eldest daughter, I talk to two, three, ten, twelve times a week, or whatever the case may be. Yeah. It depends on how many crises she's having, <laughs> and uh, if I haven't heard from her for three days, I, she gets a text. Are you dead? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I haven't heard from you. Right. I'm like, oh, when I when I don't miss your call, like I assume you're just gonna call me at some point. She's like, okay, and then she'll start calling my husband, and I'm like, oh my god, that's when you know it's like bad. Like my when my husband tells me your mom called me, and I'm like, oh shoot. Oh god, <laughs> my tracker calls me every night, mm -hmm. and he keeps me on the phone a minimum of two hours. <laughs> oh, so that's two hours I'm not getting anything done. Mm -hmm. So yesterday, between the two and a half hours with my son, wow. <laughs> with stopping to talk to my daughter and then two hours on the phone with my husband, how much do you think I got done with yesterday? <laughs> Very little. <laughs> it's like, I love how y'all think I'm not busy. <laughs> right. I said, this house don't clean itself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you guys can always manipulate the branches a little bit and kind of like place them where you want them to go or join them with other ones. Um, if you do have a smaller branch and you do want to finish it off, I would just recommend folding it up, right? So it's not quite as thin and, you know, spindly down there and just kind of twisting it back up on itself before you finish off the base. So I think I'm going to do that with that one, even though we only got five flowers on here. You can imagine if you add your fifth. Um, and of course, the branches, you know, they... They're super long on these um, cherry blossoms, so you can make it as long as you want, really. 
good. All right. They all look good. That looks good. So I would trim the little pestle. The, I really the like this kind of bit, soft look with the stamping. Yeah. 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 Okay. But even from a distance, the marker looks back. pretty vibrant. So it's up to you kind of how you want to do it. That's, that's going to that's gonna be it. All right. I'm going to stop this. And